Hello there, my friendly bomber pilots, and welcome to another video from my long-running lore series about the Imperial Navy. Since last time I talked to you about the ubiquitous Marauder Bomber, and also because I've done this for the Valkyrie Assault Carrier, today I wanted to bring to your attention the three main variants of this popular aircraft. These are the Destroyer, the Colossus, and the Vigilant. I will be offering details on the roles of each, and of course their armaments and loadouts. One last thing I should note is that while these three variants are different in their role and firepower, they are based on the same template, so it all might sound a little bit samey. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about the Marauder variants, shall we? The Marauder Destroyer The Marauder Destroyer is a variant of the standard Marauder Bomber that is used by the Imperial Navy as its primary atmospheric bomber aircraft. The Destroyer is the most widespread variant of the Marauder and is specialized to performing low-level ground attacks instead of high-altitude strategic bombing. The Marauder Destroyer features a reduced payload in favor of overwhelming direct firepower. It was first developed during the Second War for Armageddon, where it was outfitted for night operations and armed to carry out precision strikes on key targets. The Marauder Destroyer was accepted by the Adeptus Mechanicus after the conflict as an officially recognized variant of the Marauder Bomber, and it has become common in the Imperial Navy's bomber wings. The Destroyer is more heavily armed than the standard Marauder, featuring three sets of nose-mounted twin-linked autocannons instead of a single set of twin-linked LAS cannons and up to eight Hellstrike missiles located on external wing-mounted hardpoints. The Marauder Destroyer has a smaller bomb bay capacity, and is able to carry only six heavy bombs, as opposed to the standard design's 12. The Destroyer variant of the Marauder also replaces the standard rear-mounted set of twin-linked heavy bolters with a set of twin-linked assault cannons, giving the aircraft greater protection against enemy flyers. This craft can be outfitted with ejection seats or an armored cockpit, if these are not already installed, and either flare or chaff launchers, which are used to confuse incoming fire, making it more difficult for enemy aircraft to damage the Imperial Flyer. It can also be equipped with infrared targeting equipment for better accuracy in certain unfavorable environmental conditions such as nighttime, where the visual sighting of a target may prove difficult or even impossible. A Marauder Destroyer equipped with the ability to drop illumination flares allows for increased ground and air coordination as aircraft fly through the lighted area, which is useful for both locating the foe on the ground and keeping track of other friendly Imperial aircraft in the sky. These aircraft can also feature distinctive environmental camouflage schemes, and decals, such as flames, teeth, or lightning flashes that can give nearby friendly troopers a morale boost, as they recognize allied aircraft flying overhead. A couple of famous Marauder Destroyer units include the 2424th and 4521st Imperial Navy Bomber Wings, they both fought during the Third War for Armageddon against the massive orc war of Gazgul Mag Uruk Fraka. The 23rd Imperial Navy Bomber Wing. This unit was made up of Marauder destroyers during an Imperial campaign on the jungle death world of Denkari Prime. The Marauder Colossus. The Marauder Colossus is another variant of the standard Marauder bomber. It is considerably more rare and is specialized to performing high-altitude strategic bombings of heavily fortified enemy positions and fortified structures, such as bunkers or subterranean facilities. The Marauder Colossus forgoes the use of a multi-bomb payload in favor of a single massive-guided Melta-based Colossus bomb of overwhelming destructive capacity. The Colossus variant was also developed during the Second War for Armageddon, where it carried out precision strikes on key fortified targets. 
This variant is lightly armed compared to most Imperial Navy atmospheric craft, as it features only two sets of twin-linked heavy boulders, one pair mounted on its nose turret, and another mounted on its rear turret. The craft doesn't feature a dorsal-mounted turret or any other weaponry, save for the single massive bomb from which the craft gets its name, the Colossus Bomb. The Colossus Bomb features a diamantine armor-penetrating tip, a mass-reactive fuse, and an internal melta warhead, all of which is backed up with 10,000 kilograms of high explosives. The bomb features a guidance system, which is controlled from the craft and guides it to its target accurately, adjusting its tail fins until the moment of contact. The bomb's adamantine armor-penetrating tip allows it to pierce through thick armor plating, rockcrete and ferrocrete, before its mass-reactive fuse detonates once it is inside the target. The Colossus Bomb's Melta Warhead is capable of destroying heavily armored targets, while the extra 10,000 kilograms of high explosives reduces anything that's left in an explosion whose yield is equal to that of a small tactical nuclear blast. The weapon has been used by the Imperial Navy as an effective Titan killer, since a direct hit from the weapon will result in catastrophic damage to any target including god machines or super heavy tanks, such as the Bane Blade or Shadow Sword. The Marauder Colossus's bomb bay is modified from the standard design, so that the bomb is able to fit, which requires the removal of both the bomb bay doors and the ability to mount a dorsal turret. The aircraft can be outfitted with the usual bells and whistles common for the Marauder, including ejection seats, a heavily armored cockpit, flare or chaff launchers, infrared targeting equipment for better accuracy, and dropping illumination flares. The Marauder Vigilant The Marauder Vigilant is the last variant of the Marauder that we're gonna cover today. It is an uncommon variant of the Marauder Bomber, and is specialized to perform high-altitude strategic surveillance on enemy positions, movements, bases, or other targets. The Vigilant forgoes the bomber role, and is instead only lightly armed. It was famously used to safely survey the Orc forces upon Armageddon's Ash Plains, so that their movements could be tracked, and their important outposts, supply facilities, and command structures could be identified and later destroyed. After the conflict, the Vigilant pattern was recognized by the Adeptus Mechanicus, and they have been used by the Imperial Navy as reconnaissance aircraft ever since. The Marauder Vigilant is lightly armed compared to other Imperial craft, as it features only two sets of twin-linked heavy bolters, one mounted on its nose turret and the other on its rear turret. The craft doesn't feature a dorsal-mounted turret nor any other weaponry. The Vigilant is instead equipped with a highly sophisticated surveillance equipment that is used to safely spy on the enemy and carry out needed aerial reconnaissance. Since the Vigilant's advanced equipment requires a large amount of space within the airframe, the aircraft's bomb bay is modified from the standard design so that all this surveillance gear is able to fit. Just like the other Marauders, and other Imperial atmospheric craft for that matter, the Vigilant can be equipped with illumination flares, extra armor for the cockpit, chaff launchers, and ejection seats. Lastly, since apart from the armament, all three versions of this aircraft have nearly identical technical details, I decided to read them to you just once at the end. So, they are as follows. The crew consists of one pilot or commander, one navigator, one bombardier, one nose gunner, one tail gunner, and one turret gunner. The Colossus has one less gunner, and the Vigilant has a surveyor instead of a bombardier, since, you know, it has no bombs. They are propelled by four J 79 CS afterburning ramjets. They weigh 43 tons when empty. Their length is 19.2 meters. Their wingspan is 24.6 meters. Their height is 4.8 meters. Their operational ceiling is at 41,000 meters. 
their maximum speed is 1800 kilometers per hour, their range is 15,000 kilometers in atmosphere, their superstructure and hull armor is 45 millimeters and 30 millimeters respectively. And these, my friends, have been the variants of the Marauder I wanted to bring to your attention today. If you have any thoughts or questions, please let me know and write them in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more content. I thank you kindly for watching and I wish you all a very beautiful day. The Emperor Protects.